is 30 mm and axis length 50 mm testing on HP with one corner on HP such that its axis makes an angle 30 degree with HP and parallel to VP draw its projections so the solid is resting on HP we draw the topic first the solid is resting on HP with one corner on HP so we put the solid in corner position it is very simple we make the square such that corner of one square and the center of the square must be drawn parallel to xy if we get a line connecting corner and center of the square it should be parallel to xy so we first draw one 45 degree line with reference to the horizontal Just we draw a 45 degree line with reference to the horizontal with the help of that 45 degree line we can complete the square so we have a 45 degree line Given the base side of the pyramid is square pyramid is 30 mm, so we take 30 mm ten twenty thirty. So we ensure this thirty mm like this, then we make the square from this. 30 mm it's very simple we just uh, duplicate this we take the height from here this is the height so we can put it here similarly we take the breadth here and we put it to the other side so that a square can be drawn in this position so we have a square in corner position a square in corner position is like this so we draw the square square is a polygon basically with all four sides equal and all included angle 90 degree at any cost we should not violate that so this is a square with all sides equal and all angle 90 degree So we, we, because it is a square pyramid, we draw the diagonals also with a dark line. So this is one line and uh, we have one horizontal line as well. So here also we draw this line dark. So we name this corner as A and this corner as B, this one as C and the other one as D and we have got O, the vertex so now with the help of any drafter we can find out we can project this and find out the other view so here is the H for B and D the corner for A similarly we have the corner for C so we have got A dash here B dash here visible, D dash invisible, C dash visible. So we connect this and we have the axis length as 50 mm. So therefore, the 50 mm can be marked here 50 mm 
is this we have 10 20 30 40 50 so you can mark 50 here so this 50 can we will be marked just by projecting a line from the 50 a horizontal line can be drawn and we can mark this as 50 so this is 50 50 height of the pyramid and the base side 30 base side 30 is this So we have this is 30. So this is 30. It's convenient to put always the letters vertical. So now that we can get O dash, we can join all the points of front view to get the final resources triangle. Here is A dash, this is B dash, B dash, and this one is D dash. We have the line O dash, A dash, then B dash, O dash, and D dash, O dash. Similarly, we have C dash, C dash, and O dash. C dash and O dash, the base across the corner is this. So this is the initial position. For every projection of solid problem, the initial position is very crucial. Here is square pyramid. Yes, we have drawn a square with uh, one corner on HP. So therefore, the rule is line joining corner and the center of the plane. Center of the plane is O, corner is A, either A or C. We can consider any one corner. If we try to join the line between these two, it should be strictly parallel to x y 9. So that is the corner rule. Whenever we try to isolate one point, we need to put uh, the square in such a way that one corner and the center is joined by a line, so that line should be parallel to x, y always. So, if initial position is wrong, then everything goes wrong. So, therefore, this initial position is very, very important. Here, we are able to get A isolated. A is a single point. B and D pair points. Here, C is a single point. So, either we can keep this C on the ground or A on the ground. So, therefore, only this position will make us to get A or C separately. Otherwise, when we keep this line perpendicular to X, Y, we will get A and D together. We will get B and C together. So, therefore, we won't be able to get a corner on HP. So, for this requirement, we have to draw like this. Then, we go for the next stage. In the next stage, it is given the angle of the axis is 30 degree. Base axis and the base are always 90 degree so therefore axis angle 90 axis angle 30 is equivalent to base angle 60 base angle 60 so we draw a 60 degree line from here from here we can draw a 60 degree line then we can change the position of the square pyramid. So here is a, here is a 60 degree line. So we have uh, this 60 degree. We 
with reference to this line we have 60 degree here so we are able to get the 60 degree line so here is the 60 degree line degree line. So what we do, we take the points from this position to the new position. Let's say we have the last point here. Similarly, the middle points here. So therefore, we get the new points as C1 dash B1 dash within bracket D1 dash then we have A1 dash so now we take the slant height we take this distance and we will be able to get the full isosceles triangle when we duplicate we will be able to get the vertex the intersection of these two arcs gives us the vertex O1 dash so now we can join this so these two points O and C can be joined Similarly, we can join O and A. O and A. The base points can also be joined. We have A and C. Similarly, the middle point and the vertex can also be joined. This can also be joined and we are getting the new position. So here in again we have only one point on the xy line. So therefore it's clear that only one corner is kept on HP. Now we project this and we get the final top view. This is the final front view. So we project this through C we get a line, through B and D we get another line. Similarly through A we get one more line through vertex O also we can draw a vertical line the corresponding horizontal lines can be drawn from the top view points let's say it's D line and we have lines for A C and O all three together in a single line Similarly, we have projecting line for point B also. So now it is A vertical and A horizontal. So we get this as A1. B horizontal and B vertical gives B1. C vertical and C horizontal gives C1. D horizontal and D vertical gives T1. Similarly, O horizontal and O vertical gives O1. Now, to see the visibility, we have to go to the front view. We assume one arrowhead, downward arrowhead. Then, we have to identify the left extreme corner and the right extreme corner through left extreme corner and the right extreme corner we have to assume one horizontal line both extreme corners to be identified 
then after identifying this we have to just assume one horizontal line so whatever is above these two line is visible so here we have only OA OA visible except OA all other lines are invisible remember outer edge is always visible so therefore we complete this diagram for the outer edge how to start we know the geometry for a square pyramid it is A to B B to C C to D D to A and we have O as a common point OA is possible OB OC OD then OA now that we join AB AB can be joined it is possible it is outer edge so therefore dark OB can be joined OB possible also outer edge it should be dark similarly OD is also possible it is again outer edge it has to be made dark so we put OD dark OD dark AD is also possible it is D to A so it is again outer edge dark we know only from this thumb rule we view from top to see the we view from top on the front view to see the visibility of the top view we assume one left side corner with the horizontal line right side corner extreme corner with the horizontal line we try to view we consider this as a visible zone so now in the visible zone we have only one line that is OA therefore OA alone is visible all the other lines are invisible so we just erase this so these are all just our assumption it should not be represented in the answer so we just remove these lines now we complete the diagram here is OA so we join OA as a dark line OA is definitely a dark line so we join OA dark it's dark now ABCD is completely invisible AB is there dark so BC is obviously dotted so therefore we make dotted line dotted line then CD is also invisible we put another dotted line for CD we have OA dark OB dark OC is there dotted but already there is a dark line so you can leave it similarly you have OD so therefore this particular views is complete as per the stated requirement we have square pyramid so we have a square here resting on HP we have drawn the top view first with one corner on HP even in the final stage you find only one point on XY line at the same time it is given the axis is inclined 30 degree with the HP if you mark this you will very well understand that the base is inclined 60 degree with the HP so what will happen base and axis they are always 90 degree so when we extend this line you get obvious 30 degree for the axis so that requirement is also fulfilled so therefore this is the complete diagram for the given problem